All right. Hello, everybody, officially <laughs> now. Uh, I'm Melina for anyone who's watching and hasn't met me yet. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about um, we're going to talk about a little bit about goals tonight. Um, coming off of uh, a seven month incentive period with Pink Zebra. And I originally had someone else uh, scheduled to go live in our group tonight and share with y'all. And over the weekend, I was like, can I push you back a week? Because I knew <laughs> that I was either going to um, have something really awesome to celebrate with y'all or have just some lessons that maybe I could share that would be helpful to y'all for the future. So um, unofficially, I have something awesome to celebrate with y'all. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about that with the trip. And so um, I'm just going to assume that, you know, that we'll continue to have trips and that they'll kind of operate the same way in terms of the point periods and all that jazz. Um, they haven't, they haven't, I mean, they've changed up how you earn points and how many points you earn for things um, in the past, but it's always kind of been August 1st to the end of February. Um, and that just happened to be the 28th. No, I could have used that leap day, y'all. I really could have. Um, it was 11.58 last night when I put my last order in. <laughs> so no pressure. Um, but Pink Zebra has gone um, a bunch of different places. They've, they've, uh, the first trip was to Cancun and there were five people. Five, five consultants earned that trip. Tom and Kelly weren't sure if anybody would earn it, um, but five did. And I, I know... Um, I knew a few of those people. There's one gentleman named Jim and he's been on every single trip that the company has ever, um, ever had. So Jason and I were talking about this earlier and this will be the ninth trip. So um, yeah, so Jim Kessler's earned every single trip and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just, I wish I could have earned every single trip, um, but I missed a couple when I was newer. So now y'all kind of know the period, the time period. Um, and so, you know, last year was a really, it was a challenging year. Um, like for, for everybody, it was, it was a tough year. And I went into August, um, knowing that I wanted to earn the incentive trip, but I don't know that I really had, um, a grand plan. I was a little nervous about, um, the, like the points were a little different. There were less opportunities for bonus points. And, and that has always really come in handy for me, but I was, I was committing that I was going to go for it. And so, um, I just started working. Obviously fall is a really great time in our business. I know, you know, for those of you who haven't been, um, in a fall selling season with pink zebra, like September, October, November, those are magical months where we can earn a lot of points for sales and, and fall. Well, I used to say fall is like a really good sponsoring time, but I feel like all year round now is kind of a, a great time to sponsor. Um, so I got to work and, and started you know, doing online parties, obviously I, you know, I missed out on vendor events because they're, those are just not happening here. Um, I did a few small neighborhood events, but they weren't anything super spectacular. Um, so I really, you know, I had to challenge myself to think outside the box more. So last year I did punch cartons and, um, just tried to, tried to, like level up my customer service because I wanted to make sure that those customers that I did work hard to get decided to come back. And, you know, the result of last year was I, I don't know, I gained like something like 60, 70 new customers. So I was really excited about that. Um, but in the midst of all that, um, and I feel like I just like, I feel like I just need to share this because I just need, because I know there's other people out there I was also struggling, um, a lot like mentally, um, like pink zebra is not my only gig. I have, you know, a full-time job and there were some things going on there. There were just, um, feelings, you know, 
being home, <laughs> working from home is not, it's not really my thing. Um, and, and I think being home alone so much, like really kind of amplified some of the, the things that were kind of weighing me down. And so I know that there were plenty of times that, that I didn't, you know, hostess coach the right way, or, um, I didn't follow up like I should have. I maybe missed an opportunity. So like, you know, I went into, um, January, I don't even remember, um, how many points I had at that point. Let me, let me look at my handy dandy spreadsheet. Cause that, that tells me everything. So, um, yeah, in January, I still needed about between 8,500 and 9,000 points. So two, let's see, 45, um, seven. Yeah, I think that's right. Yep, about 11, well, no, yeah. Yeah, that, I did quick mental math and then I didn't trust myself and that happens a lot. So, I, you know, I knew, um, I knew with January that I wanted to get something, some piece of mail, something in front of all of my customers um, to say like, hey, <laughs> um, happy, it's a great new year. Thanks for supporting me last year. Here's a sample of something and here's a coupon. I always do a discount in January. And then um, because of some shipping challenges, Pink Zebra pushed back our catalog date. So I said, well, I guess I'm just gonna extend that coupon into February. <laughs> so I did. And I, I think I mailed something crazy, like 150, 175 of them out. And I um, was working on follow-up with people. Obviously, like I got some orders in January. My sales volume was, uh, it was a little over 1500 in January. Um, so I, I was, you know, reaching people. But, but honestly, like not having that catalog launch in January kind of, I mean, I guess it didn't really matter at the end of the day, but I knew that there would have been some sales from that. There were literally people while the rally was happening, like messaging me with things they wanted to order because they were watching it on the live. So like I would have got some last minute January orders, but regardless, um, I went into February needing about 78, a little over 7,800 points. And I've never sold that much in a month. And I just wasn't, I was not sure exactly how I was going to pull it off. Um, I just knew that, like I kept telling myself, I, I had to leave no stone unturned. <laughs> so I, um, I had some hosts um, book parties with me. I, you know, had some folks um, request catalogs, samples. I tried to proactively send some catalogs to some of my, um, my top customers that, you know, that I know spend more with me, um, or like to shop with me when those catalogs change. But Friday, I was still 5,000 points away. <laughs> um, and I'm going to pause for a dramatic effect, but also to take a sip of my drink. So yeah. Um, Friday was not, not a great, um, it didn't have a great start to it. Um, it was, I think it was yucky outside. I had to take Ava to the vet. Um, I just wasn't feeling it. I, cr I cried like the whole like morning. It was just, it was not good. I was sitting in my dining room trying to do my day job. Like just, just, I'm like, not, and I don't even know what I was crying for, to be honest with you. It was also, John, earmuffs. It was also a lady day, if you guys know what I'm saying. So um, so I, my emotions were just all over the place. And I reached out to um, a friend of mine. Many of y'all know her, um, Amanda Todd. I said, Amanda, do you have 15 minutes to chat today? Because I need an emergency coaching session because I'm starting to freak out about how I'm going to earn this incentive trip. And like, let me just stop and say that I know in the grand scheme of life and in the grand scheme of everything that's going on, me going on a vacation, pretty small, but I, 
need a vacation. I need to get out of my house. I'm coming up on like a year that I've been working from home and it's been a challenge. I, you know, miss seeing people. I, um, I just knew I needed it. So that's like, it, it was, it's important that, that I did everything I could to earn it so that I knew, oh my gosh, I'm going to get to like go somewhere and <laughs> hug a person maybe. I mean, I think I'm going to get to hug a person and I'm excited for all those things. But like, I know in all reality, like me earning this trip is just not the biggest thing in people's lives. And so where I was really struggling Friday was I didn't know how to ask for help. I wanted to, but I didn't know how. Um, I, I think I just thought if I just telepathically like think it, that people would just pick up on it and then people would rally around me and orders would just fly in and it would be this amazing um, Cinderella story. Like, wow, look what Melina did in, you know, a weekend's time and, and all those things because all these people supported me, but like nobody knew I needed help. <laughs> and um, I had been messaging with another consultant who was earning her very first trip. Now, mind you, I just earned my fifth. <laughs> so like, this is in my first rodeo, which is a really funny saying because like, I mean, yeah, I guess I have been to a rodeo. It's just a funny saying, but I had been messaging with this, this, um, consultant and she, um, she was closer than I was point wise. And she was telling me some of the things she did. And she sent me these graphics on Friday that said, help me help me reach my goal. And I was like, Ooh, those, that's not really my style. Like I'm not a help me do this kind of girl. Like I need my post to like mean something to, you know, it needs to be meaningful. And, and I just, I just can't post things like that. And I blame, I blame Amanda in a lot of ways um, for the same reason that Vicky, like always hesitates like are you sure I can do that on my personal page because I've just like drilled into her head like we just that we don't we're not spammy sammies and stuff we're like I don't know what we are but we're not spammy sammies so I was like Amanda I don't want to post that on my personal page um because I don't want to I don't want to come across desperate I don't want to make it all about my goal um, I'm a business owner and, you know, Target doesn't post on their personal page and say, Hey, it'd be really cool if you came and shopped with us today. Like, you know, I try to treat my business like a business and business owners don't, they don't do that. And she said, Melina, <laughs> she, she said, um, how are people going to know that you need help if you don't ask? And I'm like, well, yeah, you're right. And she's like, and because you don't normally do things like this on your personal page you're not constantly asking for sales like people are gonna they're gonna know that what you're asking for like is important to you and so I'm like okay I, like all my confidence in what to post really just went out of the window for me I'm like what kind of picture do I post like I don't want it to just be like pink zebra product because that just seems like that's people will just scroll on by for that and she goes wouldn't it be funny if you had a picture of a bathing suit in a cart and like you could um, put yourself in the picture like, I don't know, I don't know. And I was like, Amanda, I've been crying all day. Like I was crying, like voice noting her. And I'm like, I look, I look disgusting, but I did it anyways. I took my picture. I set up my little phone. I was like, <laughs> whatever. Um, I hadn't washed my hair that morning. Thankfully it looked good. Cause I, I think I washed it late Thursday. Um, and I found a picture of a bathing suit, screenshotted it, added myself to it, posted it. And, and, you know, I don't know. I don't know if everybody saw what, what I posted or not, but it was basically something to the extent of, I, um, I saw this bathing suit I really would love to get it for our Aruba trip, but the reality is that I'm not anywhere where I need to be to, to make it happen. And I know that this trip is not a big deal to, to everyone, but you know, it's a really big deal to us. Jason and I need this vacation and, um, I really struggle asking for help, 
but I'm, <laughs> but I'm asking now I need help. And if you're at all interested in helping, you know, I have three different ways you can help drop an emoji and people started dropping emojis and I couldn't believe it. And, um, so then I spent most of Friday evening, um, messaging all these people. I, where I'm sitting right now is where I spent the majority of the entire weekend. Um, and Jason, Jason, will, he can, he can attest to that because he was sitting across from me in the living room. Um, and I, 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 it's just crazy because, um, cause I just had to let people know that I needed help. And I mean, I was messaging consultants who were like, do you need me to place an order? And I'm like, like, I mean, okay, I'll keep you in my back pocket. I promise. But like, no, like that just felt really uncomfortable for me to ask. Um, but finally my friend Heather, she goes, I mean, I can order a couple cartons. What's your website link? So I gave it to her and I said, well, I'll send you the commission. And she's like, just buy me a drink or something fun when I see you this summer. But, but like uh, that, that's still, that, that would have been hard for me. Cause I, a couple of you guys were like, well, John, you said I'm tempted to place an order. And um, Lucinda texted and asked how she could help. And I was like, oh, you're super sweet. Just like think good vibes and just cheer me on. And then um, somebody else said they would order. I think it was Joanne. Um, but that just, I just felt funny. Like I would never ask you guys to do that now, but if, if the tables were turned, I'd be like, give me your website link. I'll get some cartons kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so, so, um, basically the three things I told people they could do to help were place an order. <laughs> um, do a post on your personal page, which really didn't yield me anything. Um, and it could have been what I asked them to post. I just, I did the best I could in the situation. Um, and then the third thing was, you know, share a personal shopping link, which is basically my, it's a party link. Uh, I just opened a party for a couple people and I gave them a link that they could share with friends. They could post it on social media and just see if we got any biters. Um, and I had, um, you know, I was messaging all those people who commented. Um, some people didn't even bother to comment and they just messaged me right away. Um, what do you need? I had people, I mean, John, John messaged me like 700 times over the weekend. Like, are you getting closer? Like I just, <laughs> it, it was, it was super, super cool. Um, and, and inch by inch, I got a little closer and I told Jason, I said, you know, I said, I didn't do this with like, I didn't get this trip because people placed hundreds of dollars of orders. I got this because people were placing $50 orders, $75 orders. I used between Friday night and I think either Saturday night or Sunday morning, a whole pad of order forms, which is 25. And then I had to, I found a partial pad <laughs> that I used up and then I had to open another pack last night. And, um, and yeah, so I didn't, uh, I, I didn't give up, but, but believe me, there were times where I was like, like, it's okay. We don't need, we don't need to do this. It's no big deal. You know, it doesn't hurt anyone if we don't go, like, I'm not going to disappoint anyone. I mean, I would be disappointed. Um, Jason might be a little disappointed, not in me, just in the fact that we don't get a vacation, but, but I mean, I had, I had a roller coaster of emotions the whole time. Um, and so when I was trying to think about, you know, well, what would I come and share with you guys tonight? Um, what I would share is, is that you're gonna, you're gonna experience all the same emotions I did. I mean, I hope you don't cry, um, or have to have chocolate while you're trying to reach your goal. I mean, chocolate's great, but like Saturday, I was like, I need chocolate. Um, you're going to have all those roller coaster, roller coaster of emotions, you're going to doubt yourself. Um, you're going to struggle to ask for help and, and, you know, you might have to, um, you know, in honor of our, our nurse, um, simmer pot, you might have to pivot a little pivot. <laughs> um, because I don't think that I earned the trip the exact way I thought I would. 
um, I don't even know, like it was probably like plan Q in all honesty. Um, so yeah, it, I mean, I had to, I definitely had to pivot. I had to be flexible. Um, I, I heard someone say something once and I'm totally going to butcher it and not say it right. But like, I think you should, or what did they say? Be, um, oh, dang. What was it? What was stupid? Not, it's not stupid. It's actually insightful, but it's stupid that I can't remember it. Something about being flexible in how you get there or being like, don't be married to the process it takes to get there. If I had said, okay, every month, you know, I'm going to have $3,000 in sales and seven new team members. And that's how I'm going to earn this trip. But then month one, that didn't happen. Like sometimes you have to adjust. And, and I'm here to say, you don't have to have $3,000 in sales every month and seven new team members, but like, you know, I guess that, that could have been a, a goal somebody had, um, but just be, be okay with, with, um, plan B in it, plan C in it, plan D in it, and all the letters. Be okay with all of that if you, if you want something bad enough. Because not only, you know, we have incentive trips, we have, um, you know, we like personal sales goals, we have promotions, all those things that, that we can achieve in our business. And, you know, I'm not saying that anybody has to have those things as goals, but when you do decide that you have a goal, um, be, be committed to, to getting there, but just be flexible in, in the journey that it takes to get there. And please don't be hard on yourself if it takes you longer than you'd like it to, because, oh, there, is that, a, is that a cat? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not a cat. We established that earlier. I'm not a cat. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I don't know. Pa dramatic pause for water. Please hold. Okay. So I'm almost done and then I'll open it up for questions in case anybody wants to ask any. Um, so just a little bit, a little, a few little nuggets about goals. Um, People aren't always going to understand what you're trying to achieve. <laughs> They're not always going to get it. Um, and I know as much as Jason believes in me, he's right here. I'm not talking about him behind his back. I'm not, he's actually got his foot like three feet from me. Um, I could reach out and tickle him. But like there were times where I, I knew he was like, I don't know, because <laughs> this is because it was big. 7,800 and something points in one month. Um, that's big. And I just, I just kept telling him like, just be, I think I used the term idiotically optimistic. Is that what I said? And that's not to be disrespectful to anyone with lower intelligence, but I just meant like, let's just be too dumb to doubt. Let's just be so optimistic. Like, you know, there's people in the world, you probably know some of them that like their hair could be on fire and they would be like, it's a beautiful day outside because they are just so optimistic. And that was what I just kept like, cause I could see his face. I can read his emotions on his face. And I'm like, just be idi idiotically optimistic with me. Come on. And I think it was Sunday morning where we um, started watching some Aruba videos. Like Sunday, it actually felt like it was really going to happen. Friday night, I was like excited because there were people um, commenting and I was messaging people, but I, I didn't know. I mean, I was still, like I said, about 5,000 points away, but Sunday morning, we started watching Aruba videos and I was like, okay, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. And then it just all came together in the last, you know, two minutes of the month. Um, but yeah, so people aren't always going to understand and, and some of like, you're going to have people in your life. I mean, hopefully you don't, but maybe you will, um, who might, um, they, they might appear to be negative. And I'm not saying that Jason is by any means. Um, I mean, he, he 
is like the the president of the Molina fan club I know for sure um and well he might be co-president because my mom loves me a lot too um but there there will be people who may say I don't know are you sure you want to do that and and it might not be because they don't believe in you it might be that they're just trying to protect you because if you set a goal and don't make it then you're going to be sad and disappointed and they want to try and avoid, you know, they want you, they don't want you to go through that feeling. Um, so I would just say all that to say, like, don't always take those, those comments, um, completely to heart. I mean, be grateful that that person cares enough about you to want to protect you, but you know, don't, don't take it to heart and think that they don't think you can do it or they don't want you to do it. So, um, that's kind of it. I really just wanted to, I mean, I don't feel comfortable celebrating yet <laughs> because, um, it needs to be official. I need to get that email from Pink Zebra that says I earned it. Um, but it's still exciting. I wanted to talk about it and I, um, February was, a, was a big month for me. So not only did I um, unofficially earn this trip, but I hit, um, pink sapphire, which is a recognition category for sales. Um, there's three different levels. Pink sapphire is the, the first level. And that's where you sell, um, $15,000, you know, $15,000 in sales volume between July 1st and June 30th. And so I hit that, um, I think earlier this week, I think, or last week time is blurred together. And then I had my very best month ever for sales, which this number beats my best times two, I think. Well, more than times two. Um, I can't believe I'm saying this number out loud, y'all. Um, $7,262, I believe. I don't even know. How about that? <laughs> oh no, 7,362. <laughs> I was close. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty amazing. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to that 10% bonus. <laughs> um, anybody want to do the math on that? <laughs> um, I don't, I don't want to say in case anyone is doing the math. I know everyone's on mute, so no one's probably going to talk <laughs> and that's fine. Um, so yeah, so it was an incredible month. And then on top of that, cause you know, I know I, I brought you here to tell you about my, my trip journey, but, but the cool thing is, is that February was our best February ever. And it may have been one of our best months ever, if not our very best, I'll have to go um, go back and look at all the numbers. So, so it, it, it's got me really excited for what's to come this spring. Um, I wasn't expecting that, you know, today we would have a promotional bundle. I wasn't expecting that. I think it's so cute. Um, I haven't sold any yet, but people are really liking it. And I have a friend in Colorado who is a nurse and I'm going to, I'm going to send her one as a gift. Um, I think anyone who is a nurse um, and loves friends will be totally excited about, about this warmer. So, so I'm looking forward to, to what's to come in March. And, I, and now I have to come up with another goal. <laughs> now that, I, that I've wrapped up the incentive trip, it's like, okay, where do I go now? Because I told Jason a couple times over the weekend while we were walking Ava, I was like, um, I don't know how I'm supposed to sell anything in March. Cause I'm sure I like, I took care of everybody. I, I'm like, I'll just, I'll just set my goal for 400. <laughs> that'll, that'll be my March goal. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all, it's all exciting. And I'm, I'm so tired guys. <laughs> I put makeup on, so I feel like you can't really tell, but I was yawning the whole day today. We, we slept maybe five and a half hours, which is not awful, but we were up late Saturday night too. Um, 
And I think Saturday night we let Ava sleep with us, which means our sleep was garbage. And, <laughs> and so we're, we're going to bed early tonight, like maybe within the next 20, 30 minutes. I'm going to wash this makeup off that I just put on before I did this zoom with y'all and, <laughs> and go to bed. Um, but yeah. So I, I thank y'all for coming to my, to my little chat. I just wanted to, wanted to share. Um, and I guess before I open it up for questions, there's, there's one thing that, that I've said in the past that like, I always want to show people what's possible. That's so it's like, yeah, the things I achieve are great because, you know, they help me move up in the company or they help me, you know, hit a, an income goal or whatever. But what's, what's probably like the coolest part of it is, is that if I do something that no one on this team has ever done before, then I can now show someone else how to do it. Um, so, you know, that's my goal to show you guys what's possible. And after this weekend, anything is possible. I mean, to, to, to be where I was on Friday and I still don't, I mean, I still don't believe it. And I know that, you know, even as, as, um, as challenging of, of as 2020 was, I mean, I can look back at my, my sales. I can look back at my parties and, and everything I was doing was helping me get to, you know, to this point. Um, I just didn't realize that, that there would be so much that would be required the last month <laughs> and the last weekend. It would have been a little less stressful if I had spread some of that out, but, but I have a really cool story to tell. And now, and now we have a new team record for personal sales and, <laughs> and it'll just be exciting when someone beats that. Cause that's too much pressure on me. <laughs> Cause now I'm like, oh, I have to beat it maybe in the fall. <laughs> That is a lot. I mean, seriously, like I'm surprised this couch cushion doesn't have a Molina shaped dent in it because I literally, I was here um, for the most part the whole weekend minus like, you know, uh, yesterday I did go make a customer delivery. Um, I sat at uh, our kitchen table for a little while, but like I did, I did so much right here. So it's actually kind of perfect that that's where I decided to zoom from. Um, so you could kind of see my little, my little workspace, but that's all I wanted to share. So anybody have any questions about trips, goals, or really anything? I'll hang out a little bit longer to see if anyone has anything. I'm totally surprised that no one has questions. Just very proud of you, honey. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, um, I well, Vicky was the one who was supposed to be our, um, our guest trainer tonight. And I think I texted her on Saturday and I said, I said, no matter what happens this weekend, I'm going to have something to say. So I'll just, if you don't mind <laughs> waiting till next week, I'll just, I'll do something. And even Jason at some point over the weekend was like, okay, if you do this, you got to talk to your team. So, um, so now, you know, we'll find out actually, I don't know when we'll find out where the next trip is. We may find out early. So when, when all that, when we know all the details, um, we'll hop on zoom again and, I can throw out some, some real life numbers for you guys. We'll do planning. Um, you don't have to be, cause I'm not, I am not a top leader in the company. Like, and when I say top, I mean, like I'm not a director, executive director, presidential director. I'm not at the top of the chain. Um, so you don't have to be that to earn incentive trips. There are 
people at the consultant level, executive consultant level, manager level, I earned, I think I was a manager. Um, my first, maybe two trips. Yeah. And then I promoted to senior manager. So you can be at all, at all levels. It doesn't matter. It's, it's about, um, setting a goal, having a plan, um, and then doing the work and then pivoting as needed, but it can be done. So that's, that's something we have to look forward to when we find out where the next location is and all the, the points and this and that we can, you know, if, if you want it, you can absolutely do it. It's not easy. Um, but you, you absolutely can do it. And once you've traveled with Pink Zebra on a trip like this, you won't want to miss it. And that was probably a big motivator in, in me doing it because it's like, you know, fear of missing out is real. Um, they always take us to really awesome resorts. Um, it's just, it's a really, really awesome time. And um, like, it's strange because my business besties are not going on this trip. My upline is not going on this trip. So um, Jason and I are gonna be hanging out with a whole new crew. So we'll get to meet some new people, so. Congratulations, Molina. Oh, uh, thank you, Charles. Mm. You have wet hair. Yeah. <laughs> so Sorry, I didn't hear you. How's Ava? Oh, she's good. She's snuggling with Jason on the couch right now. Ava, you wanna come see Charlie? Oh, yeah. mm. she's really comfortable <laughs> <laughs> if you were here it'd be a different story congratulations thank you so much I appreciate you mm. <laughs> <laughs> funny. you made it on zoom Jessica <laughs> yay go me <laughs> <laughs> yeah well it was what, Madison's help. <laughs> there was a Zoom we did, I forget when, and we were about like done. <laughs> I'm, I think I was talking to Lucinda like afterwards, and all of a sudden I see Jessica K pop on, and I'm like, doesn't she know the Zoom was an hour ago? <laughs> <laughs> it cracked me up though. It made me, it was so fun to see. At least you know I tried. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, we're going to hop off, but I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's not why I brought y'all here, but please say more good things. I I'm just know. I'm totally you, kidding. You definitely deserve it, ma'am. You're sweet. I With Jason being your sidekick, right? You did it. You, you did it for two, right? Uh, no, I did it for one. Okay. Okay. But, but he's going. <laughs> good. Well. <laughs> He's still your sidekick. You, yep. You, yep. It was awesome. Awesome job. If I could fit Ava in my suitcase, she'd go too. <laughs> All right. You have a good night. You too.